Bioshock is fantastic. It's easy to see why it's some people's favourite game of all time. It's about a survivor of a plane crash who finds himself in a city that lies at the bottom of the sea that was built by people who wanted to get away from society. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. But at some point, something went wrong in the city of Rapture, and it became a dystopia, left crawling with what are essentially drug addicts known as splicers. It's now your job to escape. It has one of the most iconic settings ever made in a game, with an incredible lore, a creepy atmosphere, and with so much thought and imagination put into every little detail, it's the settings here that really become the main character of the game. If it was just a standard first person shooter, then it would be pretty good. It's frantic, you start off with basic weapons, but end up with things like crossbows and a chemical thrower. Guns can be upgraded, and I like the way that they visually show these upgrades on the gun, with extra mechanical attachments fitted on, changing the gun's appearance. Each gun has different ammo types, which you switch between depending upon the situation, but there's so much more to gameplay than simply shooting things, and that's what makes it so good. Every encounter can be handled in a number of different ways. Sure, you could just shoot away at things, or you could freeze them, and then shatter them with a wrench, you could hack into security systems and turn the cameras and turrets against the enemies, letting them do the work for you. There's always options. Light up foes to a thousand degrees. Warning, fire spread. And then of course you throw in plasmids, which are genetic mutations that grant you superpowers. These let you do simple things like set enemies on fire, or telekinesis, which lets you pick up objects with your mind, say an enemy grenade and then toss it back at them, to launching a swarm of bees, to hypnotizing an enemy to have them then fight for you as an ally or as your personal bodyguard. Plasmids have other uses too, like being able to open certain locked doors or add an element of tactics to fights to manipulate the splicers and make them more vulnerable. This combination of superpowers and guns leads to all sorts of fun as you make your way through the various areas of rapture that act as the levels of the game. I really like the research mechanic where you can use your camera to take pictures of the different enemy types to research them, and by doing this enough times, you can learn new abilities and gain a damage boost against the type of enemy that you're researching. You're constantly learning new things and new moves, mixing up your loadout and making whatever resources you can from the scraps that you find in the environment. It also works well as a horror game, with lots of dark and disturbing things to see as you listen to the insane ramblings of the splicers. And of course, there's the big daddies. These walk around minding their own business, protecting the little sisters. But you need to get to these little sisters to upgrade yourself, and so have to deal with the big daddies first. And these can be some of the toughest fights in the game. Although I find their high aggression easy to manipulate, to get them stuck behind something, yet they still just try and push forward to get to you, rather than be smart and go around. They also nicely demonstrate my biggest problem with the game, and that is, when you die, you respawn at the nearest spawn point, and everything else stays the same, including enemy health. So if you want, you can run up to a big daddy, the toughest enemy in the game, hit him a few times with a wrench doing a bit of damage, die, respawn, then run in and carry on from where you left off, doing this over and over again until they die. It takes away any sense of achievement of winning a tough fight. Death is meaningless, which it shouldn't be in a game. But despite this, it's still such a good game. The world that it brings to life is so rich and interesting. Gameplay keeps you on your toes, always giving you more than one way to win a fight. Thanks for watching. Oh, and would you kindly like and subscribe? Would you kindly? Thanks.